In this episode, we head to beautiful Eleuthera to look for shipwrecks. Ah, dolphins! Look at third one! He just joined them! He just joined them! Whoa! <laughs> and Captain Steve explores a large lesbian waiter. A large Lebanese freighter. Welcome to the adventures of one occasionally sober guy on a boat. Cheers and greetings. I'm back. Welcome to Captain Steve's Old English Pub. Today we're going to explore shipwrecks. But first, I'm hungry. I've been told at the other end of the island there's a traditional British fish and chip shop. Excellent! To help you follow along, I'm going to draw you a map in the sand. This is Nassau, New Providence. This is Paradise Island. We're here and we're going to Mr Chippy here. Let's go. Follow me, follow me, quickly, quickly. Here we are, Sandy Pool, home to a large expat community of bankers and offshore financial types, and home to the biggest wife swapping group in the Bahamas, as well as the infamous Sandy Pool swingers. And Mr. Chippy. They say Mr. Chippy is a traditional British fish and chips. My worry is they also offer authentic Indian dishes. That's wrong. That's very wrong. I like the chips. The piece of frozen fish was undercooked and disappointing. Traditional British fish and chips? Not really, but it's okay. Right, lunch is done, shipwrecks are waiting. As they say in Sandy Paul, let's swing. If you haven't already, do please subscribe to my channel. It encourages me. And do remember to click that notification bell. Here's a quick shout out to a few recent subscribers. Carl Graham, Brian Frost, Tommy Wilson, Clara Macy, Lacey Sanderson, Phil Kibble, William Boom, Haley Jones. Thank you, thank you to everyone who recently subscribed. A few people have asked if we do private charters for snorkeling and fishing. Yes, we do. If you're interested in spending some time with us, details are in the description below. We'll launch the kayak when you finish playing with your beard. Here she is in all her glory. The fishing trawler Silver Seas. Yes, she does have a slightly distressed look. I'm going to paddle my way in closer. She's magnificent. Nice fixer upper project. She is missing a few parts like a front and sides and bottom and the top needs attention. I left my flip flops on the boat. So one does have to be careful not to step on a sharp piece of rusty metal. Back to the boat, 
and onwards to Eleuthera. Hello boys. This is Jay. Jay likes fishing, diving, drinking beer and trying to chat up rich old ladies. Perfect qualities to join my crew. Goggles, fins, let's go. Time to explore the wreck of the Areola. Okay, okay, Arimoroa. Only the bow is still visible above the surface, but the story is interesting. The 260-foot Lebanese freighter was traveling from South America to Europe with fertilizer. Highly inflammable, combustible fertilizer. I think you know where we're going here. Anyway, May the 12th, 1970 was not a good day for the crew of this ship. As the ship chugged along, the cook was preparing a traditional full English breakfast. Sausage, bacon, eggs, beans, mushrooms, fried tomato. Fantastic! Suddenly a fire started in the galley and quickly spread. This is not good. Fire, fertilizer, that's a real sphincter moment. The captain immediately ordered the ship to be run aground at the closest island. Fortunately, all the crew escaped, but the cargo continued to burn for three months. The ship used to actually sit upright, but in 1992, Hurricane Andrew devastated the area and broke the wreck in half. Shipwrecks fascinate me. We're trying to avoid this nasty weather ahead. Heavy rain and lightning. One moment the ocean can be calm and beautiful, then without warning, turn nasty and difficult much like a woman. Ah. Oh. Look at this little fellow. Oh dear, oh dear. Poor little bugger. Fix a small damp issue in the cabin, coat of fresh paint, should be like new. Onwards we go. Absolutely lovely. Time to navigate my back passage to Nassau. Oh yes, that's really smooth. Thank you so much for watching. For more information about the channel, check below in the description. Until next time, take care. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers.